Hi guys. Welcome. Back again. Um, we another video. It's a 2008 Renault Twingo. A baby little. You know, this thing had it had wipers which were working on one speed. Um, so only on one speed, the normal, not the intermittent, not the fast, just the normal, I suppose, wiper speed. And what was happening was when you turn them off, it would they'd stop anywhere. So they wouldn't park, you just intermittent wouldn't work, high speed wouldn't work, the middle and speed would work, but the wipers would go, and the minute you turned off the switch, goop, she'd stop in the middle of the screen, stop, stop, stop all that crack. Um we had this car going for an NCT test back here in Ireland, which is equivalent to an MOT in England. What we were doing was we wanted to have a look and just see what the story was. So I had a, a chap that worked there for me to go in on and had a look at it. And when he did, he went in and someone had been at this before him. And it was very doctored, I suppose, is the, is the, the format of where it was. He went along. <clears throat> someone at some stage had jumpered a wire here, kind of a scotch lock or some sort in here. They had jumped a wire from here out as far as the motor and what they're actually after doing a little bit of doctoring on a lot, I wouldn't say doctoring, but they're stabbing a lot of wires in here. You can see where the, the back probe and marks are after happening on nearly every wire that's in there. But they put a wire on this, they ran it out, that was actually it became live when we put the stalk into not the into that position, which was the the normal speed position, high speed, nothing. But there, this actual switch or this wire, sorry, was live, and then they ran that wire out out through the bulkhead, around out to the wiper motor here, and they had joined it onto this. The wiper motor actually is meant to be in here. We have it pulled out of it. Um, and bridged it into this thing, or joined it into it, okay? And then what he done was he, I don't know, for some strange reason, then took this back out of it again, disconnected off it, and then went straight into the motor with that power feed, and then done a ground, or battery negative wire up and into the back of it. Now, we were trying to figure out what the story was here, but the figuring of it is, got a wiring diagram but with this being I suppose around a Twingo not wickedly popular I couldn't or at least we didn't have a wiring diagram for the Reynolds Twingo so the best I could get was at a point in time when I was going hard was a wiring diagram for a Clio so this is what we have Wearing like I'm Cleo, looked kind of the same, printed it out, brought it with me, said it might do me some bit of good. So, if we're looking at this thing, what we have is, this is our multi-function switch. We had a power feed coming from it down to the switch. We had three or four control wires which are coming up cross and down into a multi-function control module and then we had wires coming down to the actual wiper motor four now we went looking at it it was different or at least the numbers were different on it so we were trying to understand and this is one of the problems in this i suppose game you have to have information and what we had here was the wrong information so maybe it was guiding us kind of incorrectly but it was giving us a little bit of a guide on what we were going to be looking at here in the motor that's the back wiper here on the motor we we're going to have a ground we were going to have two feeds coming into the motor, which were coming direct from the control module. The control module was um, had a relay inside it, driving uh, the wiper motor. And then what we had over here was a position switch. Now I had to do a little bit of looking and try and figure out that, if you can see, then I've got a pen here. If you can see, that line is only drawn. So this is the way we would have had had it originally on the diagram, it's only us scribbling. And what we have here is when we went out and we had a look. Now I got the real deal wiring diagram since from a technical helpline that I have. And I have the real thing, didn't even print it out. But when we look in here, that's the ground, the black wire on the right hand side. This wire then, the pink one 
was for midland speed that one that we uh, yeah, we were actually going to use the green one was for a high speed and then the black sorry the beige one was for a position sensor okay and the position sensor is It has a 12 volt biased on it. So that beige wire has 12 volts coming down it. And when the wipers actually go down into their, into their parked position, that 12 volt bias is pulled to ground. So pulled to zero through the actual wiper motor. So when this motor goes around and gets into its parked position, that 12 volt bias that comes down this wire is pulled to ground which then in turn sends a signal back to this module and then this module stops any movement so it parks them in the parking position okay a little I suppose it took a few just a few minutes well it didn't take probably took me a bit longer than a few minutes to scribble out and try and make an understanding of it and how this thing works but um, so we had no wipers anyhow. Went in, <clears throat> trying to see why this wasn't working. We have no power feeds coming down here. We had the 12 volt bias coming down this wire here. And we had a good ground here. Up at our switch, all that back probe that um, someone had done before us. <clears throat> when we had a look, was the switch positions were doing their job the finest. So according as we... Went back to our multifunction switch when we moved into different positions we could see that we were getting 12 volts out of it hence the other person was able to drive 12 volts out one of these wires the green wire i think if we can see a green wire in this scribbling um but that switch was getting power that was sending power out to the module the module then wasn't sending anything down to here the motor we actually powered up via power probes sitting here um, we did also change because the linkage was broken and damaged and it had been repaired at some stage but um, yeah so we had we had the motor was working that was a definite the switch was working that was a definite but the module we didn't know of when trying to find the module in at the top of the glove box um, in at the top of the glove box again a little bit hard to see there's a steel bracket here and in that steel bracket just in on top of the fuses. So the fuse, the fuses are actually sitting down there, but they, they are loose at this point in time. They sat or live right in behind this box here. There's one or two relays up here which are pulled out just to get a bit of room. But the fuses live in here. Just above it, I popped that and fuses out and down. This multifunction control module that's sitting up here, you can only see the end of it, is this little yoke. Body BCM body control module. That is the actual piece. We popped it open just to see if there was any water ingestion or any of that kind of stuff, and we couldn't see anything inside it. So, you know, which way it's not um, sending powers out. We got in here and had a look. We have, if you can see the color, that's that pink, green, black wire. The position wire is. You can see that beige one there and I checked continuity between the pink wire here and the pink wire outside the green wire here and the green wire outside the beige one and the beige one outside and the black one and the black one outside so the wire, wires are intact so what we're after condemning is the control module no we have powers and grounds coming to it I know we have wire continuity I know we have motor working I know the switch is working so we're just condemning that module they call it no one wants to do a condemn module. Um, have a second hand one on the way. Don't believe it's coded. At least fingers are programmed. Don't need that crack. I tried into anything. Um, I'll put it in, let you know what happens, or let you see what happens once it goes into it, okay? Okay, I stuck in the wipe motor, joined the wire. Sitting in here. Went in then, thinking all nice and easy. And I got my body control module. Uh, well, that body control module. And I plugged it into it. And when I plugged it in, we're away and then we'll cycle the key in. Oh, let's see, Just trying to reach over to the key, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna turn on the ignition. So, turn on the key, and lo and behold, 
Wipers are working. They weren't working beforehand. But they are working. Now, if you assume if they're if they're working, it is actually turned on here. But that turned on. Plug it. Plug it. Switch. For the wipers. And still going. I went along then and I plugged back in the old control module. Wipers stopped working. Then I turned the key to see if the car start. The car doesn't start. It's um body control module looks like it's coded to the car or programmed to the car for the mobilizing. Just stick a scan to your lad, clear or false, just see what happens. But at this point, anyway, wipers going all the time, which is a bonus. Car doesn't start, not a bonus. And wipers don't turn off, not a bonus either. So look, we'll, we'll drive on in and see what the story is. Right, guys, wire I'm stopped now. Because that was coded and I was unable to change it, what I'm after doing is I bought a whole ECU kit. What I believe I need is that, just and only the key and the engine needs to see you. That's what I believe, but I've seen a couple of lads with clocks and the aerials and stuff. I don't really, I don't mind. I got that, or I'm hoping that. You know, I'm just gonna show you where I stood. The car is now running. So I have the car, I don't know if you can't see, but the car is running, you can. If you can see it in there, it's at a thousand RPM, okay? The car is running, and I have my I'm trying to see this. If we can. One second. Okay. The car is running, and once the car is running, I'm able to disconnect these body control modules. Now I have had a look at scan tool and data from the body control module. When I go in and look at the data from this control module on the scan tool. The scan tool is turned up on, on, up on my, my dash over there. When I look at, at my data, what I'm seeing is that I have input, as we know from my testing, I have input from my um, parking sensor or signal switch from the motor and from the switch. Now, while the car is running, as I said, it's tied into the mobilizer, but I can take it out and put in another one which doesn't stop the car from running okay so there's that one out this is the module that i had already or previously gotten and the module that i had previously gotten as, as i showed just a moment ago was or is making the wipers run all the time the minute i plug it in okay wipers going i have reassembled some bit the wipers are going now all the time. I'm going to switch you back down here. This is only a fast test process for myself. I'm setting I'm doing this live, so I'm not um I'm not probably as fast as what we'd normally be, but you know, I'm getting this body control module from this twingo. One second. I'm trying to Stand it there so you can see what's going on. This is the body control module in the new ECU kit I got. I don't want to go fitting. I don't want to go fitting the engine ECU and key and all that crack and creating problems with the, with immobilizers right now. But I want to know if this thing is going to fix the problem. And the thought that I had was while the car is running, I'll swap or switcheroo as they call it and just see what happens with my wipers. And that's what I'm at. So the reason I'm connecting this in now without the rest of the stuff is just to see what happens. If it works or fixes my wipers, now I go after my immobilizer issue and hopefully see where we end up at that point. So that is the reason for me showing or logging this. Um, the good thing is when I plugged in, I don't know if you saw that. It's on that block connector here, which the signal wire from the motor is coming. 
from the motor outside is coming and the wiper is just parked. Okay. I'm going around just to see my switch is turned off and intermittent. Wiper's moving. Hey, it stopped. That's me giving it out. Excuse your watch and faster speed. So my wipers are back working. So whether we like it or not, the actual second hand body control module I got was faulty. It's faulty, that one is good. My wipers are back working as they should do. Now the case is going and I let you know what I need to change with my engine ECU and I'll talk to you soon. Just to show, just in case anyone might think that the old body control module had an internal fault and might not have been tied into an immobilizer. So that's the one that's actually working where our wiper motors, wiper's back doing its job. And turn the, and we're just gonna turn it into the start position, but we have no start, okay? I don't know, we can't. No, we'll go. All right, so it, we're not prematurely changing all the other stuff. I know that this works, and now I'm gonna change the rest of the kit. Okay guys, just to show, I didn't need the clock. I need one now, or whatever the one I got, I, have one. I didn't need the switch, key, blade, and a little screw in there in the back of it, and the blade popped out, so I just swapped the blade, this is the original key off the car. Um, you know of my BSI box, or sorry, BCM, that's sitting in there, the engine ECU was simple enough, sitting beside the battery, uh, with the front of the car, quite Quite easy. We had two, four bolts, three plugs on it, and then around to the car, and we turn the key. The wipers are going, which is good. So the car is starting. It actually didn't run. Well, it doesn't run quite great at this point in time, but it is running. The ECU kit has resolved. Okay. Wipers. I hope that was helpful, or some bit. Helpful to someone. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe if you can. Thanks. Talk soon.